tau tua mo lau au nanga mo tau sa mo service station ni tonai mata ma tau tau tua ina lo tau vale ma le tsel le ni sio ma tau au nanga i sese ai le ngata hoi le ma tau te sia ke ina fo i lo tau vale Siapa lah yang voice wow? Mau lah ucapan. Apa itu apa itu apa ulasan? Awal itu pun, mahu tu siapa lah yang voice wow? Mau lah ucapan. Mau lah nak posi lah dia. Mua mua, tapi lah ucapan le perut. Mua, tapi lah telefon ni terima perut tu ina lah ucapan. Mana bawa yang mula mula? Mana tu aku? E matu ai fasa ai na, lo tau mak tapa ai no fuang a fak dei. Otta samo, ole mo otta mo samo. Ma do te fia fia, e au au na pia mo o e samo. Ma tai le fia mai, we see you again. God bless. Tina, tu mets tes menus sur mes vêtements. Là, tu as l'offre à partager. Et la forme de téléphone est bien bien. On est fixé nous à la y a tel offre à partager. Il y a ouais, tu l'as ouvert aussi au fil de voie. Il y a ces que tu as l'offre fixe. Mais il y a les choses, on ne peut pas tout voir les choses. Sauf si par l'eau, on fait une offre. À mes yeux, tu fais voir mal au téléphone. T'as une mémoire. On l'a vu. Là, on a ça ou à l'état l'offre à partager. Mais Tina, tu mets tes. Ça ou ça, on l'offre par l'eau. C'est qui? T'as l'offre à partager. Hold up, pause, yeah, pause, pause, yeah, pause, I pause, am, I photo am. shoot, pause, I pause. am, I am, pause, it's a photo shoot, dope boy, I'm a Polaroid, photos make me paranoid, give it up, put camera phone. Island Language Week. That's right. We are it's so, so <laughs> and that's, I think this will probably be my favorite. Me too. Um, yes, I'm rocking the ballet here. <laughs> I'm gonna call it the week of the hips don't lie. <laughs> <laughs> the hips don't lie. Um, and yeah, it's it's, it's really nice that mm. um, I just want to acknowledge um, the Ministry of the of mm. Pacifica people because um, you know what an awesome initiative it is to put together you know um to celebrate yeah. the language the culture yeah. um but yeah I'm, i was quite excited today so um a massive shout out to my sponsor lofi thank you so much for the ballet <laughs> she's probably like watching going that's Can my I... ballet <laughs> does she want a sponsor for me for me too <laughs> yeah sure i can hear you know. <laughs> but yes it is it's it's um Kukala language week this week and we are um 
we are going to head over to the Cook Islands and I'm so excited to get some raw footage uh, over there in the Cook Islands. Who is going to the Cook Islands? The question is who? Is it me or is it Claudia? I wish I could say it was me. I really wish <laughs> I could say it was me or both of us, but we'll never know. We we'll never know, but yes, we are excited to be going over to the Cook Islands, someone capturing those raw footage um, to bring you so we can celebrate the Cook Island, the Cook Island way. I love, oh, and I've been to Rarotonga once before and I mm. loved it. It's I one loved of my it. favourite places on earth. Paradise, definitely I love it paradise. so much. But um, talking about the Ministry of Pacific people, yep. um, let's talk a little bit about yesterday because yeah. I mean, I woke up this morning, so Blue Wave um, was very, very privileged and very honoured um, to have been present there and we were actually backstage and around and everywhere that um, you can imagine. Um, we were, the team was there doing their thing and taking pictures of such a monumental moment in New Zealand history. So I am still very, I got very emotional on the yeah. day and I'm not Pacific Islander, but um, I did, I was telling the team, I did tear up. I got very emotional, especially when they started playing the audio yep. tracks of the Dawn Raids. Um, it was, yeah, and um, yeah. Bear, do you want to take it off <laughs> a little bit? Um, yeah, no, it was a, it mm. was a very, very emotional time. Um, we've got a few um, photos here. Mm. Um, check this out, um, this photo here um, yeah. that was captured by, uh, I believe it was captured by our toko uso, mm. um, the brother C. Um, you know, definitely got the, the eye there, you know. Um, just that experience was, it was, it was amazing. So, um, yeah, I do mm. want to acknowledge the Ministry of Pacifica people yeah. because, um, yeah, you know, we did talk about it earlier mm. on that we were going to always have, I mean, I actually didn't think it, you know, I actually thought that um, our people would be okay with mm. the whole apology and but um yeah we, we've seen that um this image right here has caused a little bit of um heat um yes. on social media yeah. um but you know comments you know everyone is entitled mm. to their own opinion but yeah. look um i personally yeah. think that um i think the message that we should all take um away from um from this um is that you know it is an apology it's the first step to healing um, and it's acknowledgement of all the wrongdoings um, that mm. the actually both governments yep. did um, you know everyone's had their part in it um, and you know it's not gonna make things right um, it will never make things okay unfortunately we can't go back in time but at least this is the first step um, and you know, I'm just very honoured um, and privileged that yeah. I was even present. Mm. Um, and I'm definitely going to remember this day. Um, yeah. And I actually went there as a photographer, guys. <laughs> you know me, amateur photographer. The Blue Wave team, especially um, my girl Daisy, have been teaching me how to be a photographer. So mm. I even that was amazing yeah. for me to be able to say that um, I was snapping shots on the day. Yeah. So, yeah. Oh, you know, look, I, I, I already knew. I, I kind of mm. sensed that there would be... You know, controversial over around the um, the funga, which mm. is you know, and I, I I don't know. I'm not I'm not a professional. Mm. I'm not going to say sit here and be like, oh, you know, I know everything about mm. it because I don't. I really yeah. don't. You know, I know it's a it's a it's it was a symbolic way of mm. you know um, asking for forgiveness, yeah. Yeah. right? So symbolic. Mm. We, we, we have, yeah, we've seen the comments. Oh, it's not the right way of doing it, nah, nah, nah. but it's a symbolic. Yeah way of doing it does it make it real oh my goodness <laughs> if i took my wedding ring off which is a symbolic um sign for my marriage mm. right does that mean i'm not married just saying i'm just saying like fair look, point. I'm, it's I'm, a fair point do you know yeah. what i'm saying like if i took my wedding ring off right now mm. i'll take it off yeah i'm gonna take it off yeah i'll take it off so if i take my wedding ring off right I've taken my wedding band mm. off does that mean i'm not married because it's a symbolic thing, right? And, like, I get it. I get that everyone is entitled to their opinions. Mm. And, like, oh, man. Yeah, <laughs> like, I think we just all need to take the 
positive yeah. message from it, this. It's just um, that positive. Is it a real apology? Oh god. I, <laughs> I would say yes. Not to say. <laughs> yes. I'm done, guys. Yeah. yeah. And but yeah. look, um, yeah. I, look, you know, my heart goes out to Chester Dardoon. Mm -hmm. Um, I, I did read. Actually, I'm gonna go into a message. Um, mm. that someone did post um, on my page because I did um, share, mm. I shared something. But, uh, sorry, I'm not going to, I can't go into it right now. But they did just said that um, sometimes in life um, that one person does need to make that step forward mm. um, and kind of take one for the team, mm. take one for the family. Mm. They've seen that one person or they've seen something in the past, someone, particular person, suffered from a traumatic event. Mm -hmm. um, they've moved on. Mm -hmm. You know, but someone's had to go forward and ask or request for forgiveness, mm -hmm. and that's that's how mm -hmm. I've I've I've, no, I've never experienced anything like it. But you know, I don't know what the right or wrong way is. But to be honest, it was an apology and apology accepted, guys. Yeah. For me, yeah, that's me. And and I was never like you know, I, my family didn't experience it. Mm -hmm. So, but even Claudia, you know, mm -hmm. we spoke a little bit about the. Events that have happened in South America, where, you know, oh, in America, yeah, in the United sorry, States of yeah, America, sorry, yeah, um, yeah. Unfortunately, um, you know, there is still a massive issue in America yeah. where um, illegal immigrants are getting shipped off, and yeah. there's families being separated. So, unfortunately, that is still a big thing yeah. in America. So, you know, it, it's a great thing that the New Zealand government have, you know, yeah. made that apology. And just for um, everyone that has asked us, it was strictly um, invite only. Um, so unfortunately, um, people that didn't have tickets couldn't get in. It was very strict, um, and the people that were invited by the government were present. Mm. Um, and so, yeah, yeah, that's just to clarify some things around there. <laughs> but um, we um, we're uh, just gonna stay positive. Gonna, just yes. gonna be, well, it, uh, it was a positive movement. Um, look, it's been years. And, you know, I, I spoke to the bakery next door as well, and um, they said that, wow, they didn't even know about the Dawn Raid. Yeah. And they even, they I, when, I, when I was telling them how traumatic it was for, um, you know, um, our people during this time, they really were just like, well, I didn't even know this you, this happened in New Zealand. Mm -hmm. Anyways, I'm, I've got massive positive thoughts yeah. about this, you know, awesome um Shout out yeah. to MPP. They did job a really, well done. Really good job. Um, but uh, look, going into, we're going to head into a break. And I just before we wanted to head into a break, we wanted to me mention that there are a few Father's Day promotions happening for Pacific 40, our number one, the heart, Miss mm. Samoa. Um, they've got uh, a promotion going on for Father's Day. So. Head over to Pacific 40 uh, Facebook page and also their website. And you can check it out. Uh, New, New Pharmacy have got some wicked deals um, on there. So New Pharmacy. Also CCK, they've got some shirts, some specials. If you purchase a towel off a voucher, um, it will go through and um, get something special for Dad for Father's Day. And then some more. Don't forget Body Shop as well is also there. Um, and Le... La Ngoto Resort, hassle-free. That's all you need to know. A hassle-free way to get a present for Dad this Father's Day uh, there in Samoa. So head over to Pacific 40 Facebook page and also their website and um, hook up Dad yeah. for that hassle-free and the number one uh, way to, you know, shop in Samoa right now, honestly, online. You can send that love right now. Just like the love that was shown yesterday at the apology. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to go into a very short break, but we're going to bring on um, two, special, yes. two lovely yeah. ladies, amazing people with an amazing initiative. Um, so stay tuned to find out more. Yeah. <laughs>
Ma <laughs> with your girl Bear and Claudia. Yes, today we have two very special guests. Uh, the rest of the team couldn't make it today, but that's okay because you know what? Biggest can't be choosers. We're gonna um, accept these two beautiful, um, wonderful ladies here um, who are, they're both gonna talk a little bit about uh, their poly polymensia movement. Um, but before we get into it, I wanted to um, just, this is just a little bit of information that we've got um, from our famous Mr. Google. Um, which is an explanation on what dementia is. So a dementia is a chronic or persistent disorder of the mental process caused by the brain disease or injury and marked by memory disorder or personality changes. Um, it is a lot to take in. Um, I know that uh, our Basifika community are not really familiar with it. And for myself, um, I know that mum talks a lot about it. But 
there wasn't enough awareness um, with regards to dementia and the illness. Um, but today we have the two beautiful ladies. We've got Jess and B here to talk a little bit about it. So I'm going to hand it over to the girls. Man, thank you so much to you both. Um, I'll let you both do your introduction um, to our viewers. We get about 10.5 million viewers a day. <laughs> so, so please just do, we'll, we'll, we'll start with you, Jess. Okay. Um, hi, guys. Um, thank you for having us on the show. We um, really appreciate it. And um, yeah, it's lovely to meet you ladies. Very beautiful. And so I'm Jess. And I'm B. And we <laughs> yeah, and um, so we are part of Polymentia Movement, and our movement is about raising uh, dementia awareness mm. in our um, Polynesian community, mm. as well um, as we created a space um, mm. for our families to share their story, yeah. as well as for us to share our journey mm. with dementia. Mm. Yeah, and I love the t-shirts that um, you oh, ladies thank are you. wearing. Thank you. <laughs> No, I know that actually, I, this is my favourite. Um, if Lemo, do you have that um, image? We're just going to quickly flick over to, mm -hmm. this is awesome. This is awesome. I really I like really it. I really love that. Did Thank you too. guys um, do that yourselves? Um, yes. That's awesome. That, that's our own um, design. Yeah. Mm. We haven't really used it yet, but um, yeah. Oh, it's, really, it's all right, but Bear just stole it from your social media and <laughs> chucked it up there. No, no, I love it. But well, honestly, talk us talk us through a little bit about um, all of it. Like, why did you start? Why did you, you start? Me? Um, so, it all started. like you answer. <laughs> it all started yeah. when um, our nana was diagnosed with dementia. Mm. Oh, sorry, actually, Alzheimer's dementia. And that was back in 2018. Mm. And we've been on this journey for the last four years. And then last year, um, her dementia deteriorated really fast mm. from the end of December to um, February of 2020. Mm. And then, you know, I was just like struggling with it, like, because I'm her full-time carer and a lot of um, our carers know that it's not easy. Mm. So I guess for myself, there wasn't enough like support for our people mm. out there and there was and no one was talking about talking mm. about it and I guess that's why we started it too mm. so fam families know that they are not alone in this you know mm. journey there's people um like myself and my family that, you yeah. know we're on the same journey yeah. I heard that you mentioned um Alzheimer's dementia is the difference between Alzheimer's dementia and dementia um so dementia is like an umbrella term. Mm. Gotcha. Um, yeah, that covers a lot of other um, dementia. So Alzheimer's uh, is the most common form, gotcha. and our nana's got Alzheimer's. And then there's different yeah. dementias. You know, there's like frontotemporal, there's vascular, there's Lewy body. There's so many mm. um, different dementias, and you just mm. pretty much got to do your own research yeah. or reach, reach out and get help. I mean, it's from crazy. other organisations. It's crazy because I hear you talk about it so confidently and you have a lot of knowledge in it. But oh, it's, not it's, really. <laughs> but it, it just sounds to me that you had to seek out this information yeah. on your own because there wasn't anywhere for you to go to, really. Um, yeah, um, at first, because yeah. mm. we had no idea, you know, what dementia was at the mm. time. And I think a lot of families are like that as well, eh? They don't yeah. know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, until someone in your family is diagnosed with it. Yeah. So back in 2018, um, we had to do our own research. So mm. Before we, she was even diagnosed, yeah, yeah. we Googled it, like Googled mm. her symptoms, like, because she was really repetitive at forgetting things. Mm. So we're like, you know, yeah. this is not the usual elderly, like people old age it memory all, loss. It all started back in 2017, to be honest, eh? Yeah. That's when we noticed all the... Um, signs and symptoms yeah because yeah, you know our nana before dementia she was like this independent yeah um, outgoing as they are yeah yep. she, um social butterfly yeah social butterfly woman of faith she was going to church she was in the community yeah, yeah she was in the community like she worked in the community her whole life and she didn't um retire right until the age of 73 oh my God. Yeah. so she her work ethic was like awesome yeah yeah and I guess 
just seeing her, you know, change mm. from who she was before to who she is now. It's, yeah. Yeah. Um, it's, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and, you know, it must be hard. Because, you know, I talk, mom's, mom, my mom's yeah. actually a um, nurse at um, a rest home in Glendowie. Um, so you'll figure that out. That they obviously have all the support. They've got the equipment. They've got the professionals. They know exactly how to help someone with yeah. you know, this illness. Obviously, you know, you've struggled. You're doing all, of, all that you can to kind of Google it. How do you, as a carer, like cope with yeah. that on the daily? You have to not only Google it, you have to constantly remind yourself that you have to be patient because yeah. she is going to forget mm -hmm. something. Patience. Like, you need a lot of patience yeah. on this journey. And we're all human, so we're yeah. going to have those days where we're like, you know, we're going to be fr get frustrated. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I've had those days. Yeah. And then I've had to, like, you know, step away yeah. mm -hmm. and just be like, you know, go to the room and, you know, pray on it and yeah. be like, you know, God, give me patience, you know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because that's all you can do, you know. Yeah. It's, well, for us, because, you know, we are a woman of faith. Like, we, we just, you know, do a lot of praying. Right. Yeah. yeah. We, we, we off camera we did talk a little bit about um, the stigma around yeah there's a huge stigma around dementia yeah not only in our you know Polynesian community but everywhere else mm. yeah because mm. I I, like, I personally didn't even know that in the new way in culture because mm. the, the girls are new way in um, our very first new way in um, guests but they're new way in and I didn't you know a lot of my new way in friends um, they're probably like she gonna expose us like a lot of our new yeah, friends is, no. when I am. <laughs> we, when we used to go out, they were allowed to do whatever. Like my new new Wayne friends, they were like, "Oh, my mom said it's all good." And for a some morning time, they were like quite strict. But for my new Wayne friends, oh yeah, all good. Mm. They, they, there was never really. I just didn't think that it existed mm. in the new Wayne community. We spoke about it, the stigma yeah. about it being a certain thing and a curse i honestly thought oh my gosh i honestly thought that it was only Samoans and tongans that would really sway that way mm -hmm. but it's actually an illness how do you cope with that when people kind of like keep praying you know do this it, it must like really like like i don't want to say it but it must really like hurt because you're trying to like kind of navigate your way through the unknown and then someone else you know out elderly are like maybe you know you know, how does it make you feel? Uh, I love any kind of support. Like yeah. if people are, you know, um, giving me, mm. you know, encouragement like that, like pray. And I do, because like, I do believe in God yeah. mm. and I do pray on it. And he has helped me through, the, through this journey. Mm. And without him, then, you know, I'll probably be mm. depressed or something. But, <laughs> but I'm just saying like, you know, I'm just keeping it real. And, you know, like I have to seek God like mm. every yeah. day. Yeah. To keep me strong, mm. yeah. yeah. And plus, you know how my nana, she was a church woman, mm. and yeah, she really inspired us. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm because I'm not um, Pacific Islander, so I'm very interested. And um, forgive me if it's a sensitive topic, but oh, cool. this um, stigma around dementia being a curse. Could you elaborate a little bit more on what that means? Um, do you wanna? Or do you can okay them. um so it for us we had um someone from our own family mm. um visit our nana mm. and this person had mentioned um you know oh maybe nana's got a curse mm. you know because they don't know you know about mm. you know the sickness like dementia sickness but yeah and i guess you know talking to other families it's not only us as well um there are other cultures mm. who do think that dementia is a curse mm. and mm. we need to be you know realistic and, and and tell them that you know it's not a curse yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. it's it's no joke like dementia is no joke and yeah but i think they sway that way because of the changes mm. in the people mm. like because not you, they could be like doing odd habits like picking their nose or something like mm. in church and then you know you get people in church like oh look blah 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 yeah, yeah then, that's that's you know. the thing you know because people are people don't know what it is yeah that's it yeah, yeah they don't know and i guess having our platform 
we are here to educate yeah. our people, our, mm. our, our Pacific uh, people. Just create an understanding and yeah. like, you know, normalcy. Yeah. 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 And, it, and it is, it's kind of like, you know, I think, um, you know, we spoke about it just like the depression, you know, we were constantly throwing, you know, the carpet over it and saying, oh, you know, yeah. go, it, will, it will go away. Yeah. Well, yeah. guys, it's not going to go away. And we do, we do need platforms like yours. Um, yeah. I know that um, someone, uh, sorry, we are from Australia, um, who she's actually moved to Australia now. She actually commented on Instagram after I had shared uh, yeah. your platform and she said, oh, about time. And she's been a nurse for years um, yeah. after um, being a full-time carer for her mum and dad. Um, we are said, um, look, it's so awesome that these girls are doing what they're doing because um, we don't know. Yeah, we actually don't know, and yeah. we are not um, dementia experts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Sorry, yeah. no, no it's just we're, a discussion. Yeah, we're we're not like um, an organisation as well. Yeah. We're just like normal, um, you know, Polynesian woman. Um, you know, just trying to do our part yeah. and help our community. Mm. Yeah, right. Mm. Yeah. No, and I love that. Yeah. Because well, I I didn't know, but I know, I know that my mum struggles with her patients. That she comes mm. and she's like, oh, what will you love her? Which is I'm really really tired. Yeah. yeah. And when mum says that, you know, this is mum who has, who is in a rest home, mm. who that's well organised, that have all the stuff, that have twenty four seven care, yeah. and then. That's it, like 24-7. Yeah. Seven. Seven. Yeah. yeah. And that's and what I do, like, every day with yeah. my nana. But I do have support. Um, my auntie, mm. one of um, our aunties, um, she's she's our other help, eh? Yeah. She's, she's with nana right now. Yeah. And <laughs> so shout out to auntie. Yeah. But how, how, do you, how does that work? Like, what, like, I know it's, I, you know, how does it work with, how how severe is, is is Nana? Like, constantly is she constantly forgetting things or? So um, there's different stages of yeah. dementia, and I think when we um, mm. took her to go get diagnosed, she was probably like mid mid a yeah. mid stages, yeah. But now she's bet she's like nearly to the end stages. So mm. the stages we know it goes from one to seven, and then seven is like severe and yep. our nana's like six yeah yeah and she's just but the hardest thing is that she's still mobile and strong yeah so yeah. she doesn't like to sleep so she's up all night wondering so that's part of the dementia as well to watch yeah. her, which is is the, is them not sleeping so the carers um we lose our sleep as well because right. we have to you know watch out for them and yeah, we had to make all these changes um, in the beginning because um, just for her safety and, and for ours as well, I guess, yeah, because, yeah. Um, you know, we had to put in extra locks. Eh? Yeah, mm. deadbolt locks that she couldn't reach mm. just so she wouldn't go wandering during the night during and the night. lose her. Yeah, yeah. So. because that's, you know, that happens. Yeah. You know, we see, um, you know, posts on Facebook and yeah. it's so heartbreaking when, when I see, when I see like our elderly go missing, you know, mm. I'm like, oh my God, like, you know, what if that's Nana? Yeah. Yep. And so that's why we, we have our page as yeah. well, like, just to let people know. Because like, all that stuff we found on Google, yep. all that prep we did, we found that stuff on Google. Our so. GP didn't even tell us. Yeah. We should talk about the GP. Eh? <laughs> the GP yeah, didn't never yeah. say. I mean, I mean, I mean, there's some out there yeah. um, who don't even help us. And I, I need to be like real on this yeah. because when we took our Nana in to go get tested, um, they just said to us, it's old age memory loss, yeah. which there's way more to dementia than just old age memory loss. Like you know? even our explanation didn't matter. Yeah. But I think just by looking at us, we look young well, at that time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and... Um, he just like was like, no, nah, it's just old age, you know. Mm. And we're like, can't be, yeah, because we have other be, elderly yeah. at home. Like and we have our grandparents, other grandparents, yeah. and they're not repetitive. They not didn't checking do all the those. Letter in a box yeah. like a billion times. Mm. And yeah. So ha, ha, since since the the changes you and I know you've said um, that Nana's at stage seven now. So has sorry six, oh, sorry, six yeah. sorry. Has there been anything that you have done? 
um, on the daily that Nana's kind of clicked to it and said, oh yeah, like a routine that she knows or is it? We have a, we have a routine um, in place for her, but to be honest, like on this journey, every day is different yeah. and each individual is different. Like, mm. yeah. So if we, if, if we um, you know, chat with other families, mm. you know, we could chat about the same things. Like obviously, like um, the behaviors, similar, yeah, similarities. yeah, similar, yeah, similarities. But then there are times where it's different because yeah. some people um, they don't have their, their loved ones don't walk around after like midnight. But yeah. with my nana, she's always up every hour. So like from twelve, yeah, from from twelve, <laughs> from twelve, <laughs> one, two, three, four, five. That's depends. a social butterfly for you yeah. though, because yeah. I get up at that time too. <laughs> yeah. So she's been like this for the last four years. So, um, yeah, <laughs> that's my sleep out the window. <laughs> it's definitely hard, I mean, for the carers to look after the person with dementia, yeah. in this case, your, yeah. your nana. But, like, do you ever see it, um, it being hard on her? Because she must be scared sometimes yeah. when she doesn't yeah. know what's going on. She forgets and she's... Yeah, she um, feels always feels, like, um, scared. Yeah. Yeah lots of anxiety yeah. yeah and she goes through like she goes through depression as well like, even yeah. though she can't communicate it yeah i know like yeah. i know her i know my nana and that's why i have to look at all the um her behavior and just pick up on her facial expressions yeah so that's pretty much what you can do is just like read their facial expressions and their body language right. yeah because some of them can't communicate like my mm. nana she can't communicate much anymore yeah yeah but she was that type before dementia so like you know always talk, <laughs> yeah. never be quiet yeah, <laughs> yeah right. talk yeah. T- tell us i know that we're we're, we're going to be wrapping up shortly but you know um before dementia tell us a little bit like tell us something that you will always remember about nana something that's yeah. like that stand out that that keeps you going that keeps you going you know what i got this do you have any like you know i like it just something positive about nana because you know yes okay dementia has obviously you know yeah um caused a bit of a um during that journey but you've told us it sounds like nana was like the life of the party <laughs> man. yeah she, oh, nana, yeah she was very humble and loving and that's what i'll always remember about my nana mm. so just because she has dementia she, to me she's still in there yeah, so yeah she's yeah. still the same person and just her saying stuff like randomly like yeah. hey i love you and i'm like Aww. it's really it really <laughs> touches me yeah. and yeah so you know when i tell families i'm like oh you know it's it's heartbreaking the journey's heartbreaking it's really emotional um and it's very hard mm. but end of the day it's rewarding as well because you know i get to speak cherish all the moments I have with her yeah Mm. yeah Yeah. I know that um this year as well there was a um there was a video that actually went viral um during a performance at Basifika um earlier on this year and I'm sure you've seen it as well um yeah we got tagged we got tagged a lot from our followers and from different um yeah other platforms they tagged us because how how has has there ever been a moment where something's popped up or you know music because this the video oh, that yes. we're talking about is music yeah, yeah is the music music and that's why i've always had this thing for music and i yeah. i really do um praise um the musicians because the music is so important because i know that tree sung um live performance and this the elderly man was dancing because he connected yeah to that music yeah. so that, that was, was very, beautiful that was yeah. beautiful so you're saying nana's the same yeah nana's yeah. the same and i've heard from other families as well like music brings back those memories yeah. and it makes them happy and going back to um you know our papa yeah that went viral um yeah that really touched us and our, our like families mm-hmm. you know we all like messaged each other and we're like oh did you see that lovely mm-hmm. you know um video of this lovely man and we try to reach i mean we did try our best to um reach out and yep. try and connect with the family but um yeah we just um what happened <laughs> <laughs> we just left it yeah just yeah. left it at that yeah. um look i know that you know you spoke earlier about how um our elderly um do from time to time um are out there you yeah. know 
they forget or they, you know, I've, and I've seen it because I, I, I don't know if Uncle oh, I do. Had Sorry, dementia. could I do? Oh, could I drop? Um, yeah, yeah, that yeah. Dementia is not only for elderly; it's yep. also um, um, people get it at uh, before the age of sixty-five, which is onset. Really? Um, yeah, there's onset. Um, I actually read that there that dementia d- uh, happens. I know that there was a viral video um, of a young girl. Um, I think it was in the States. I'm so sorry, I can't remember. I think if you can Google it, um, the video actually pops. The, yeah. I watched one and it was a 30, 31 year old. This one was actually quite, this girl was quite young. She I think was very I've seen young. that one. Yeah. It, it was in it was Australia? A, oh, was like it a Australia? Like a teen girl? girl yeah. Girl in her teens? Yeah. Yeah. And she, yeah, I think there was uh, not that many cases, but I think it was um, a, like a reverse type thing. And she's, um, yeah, it, it's severe. So, um, yeah, so I'm just, when our elderly or, you know, whoever's got dementia are out and about, do you have any advice? Because you've gone through, you know, you're currently, you know, going through it. What is your advice for anyone in the public that kind of come across someone who's like out there who don't really, what can we do um, as public? Do we, because I, I wouldn't know what to do. I'll probably be the first thing to do is bring call 111. But because they're, you know, they're not, they're not sure. Is there something like we can do? Because because I don't want to like scare them even more. You know what I mean? Is there something that we can kind of like maybe try and direct them to the right, or is it best just to call for help? Yeah, I think that's the only, the option, only option right now. Like, there's no other yeah organization out there that deals mm. with dementia patients. But yeah, just, just approach them. Like, if you find them that they're confused, yeah. You know, just be like, hey. Yeah, and I think that's what, um, you know, pub- the public should do is like, um, read up on it. Yeah. You know, read up on it because this is a big problem. And there's like about 70,000 New Zealanders with dementia. And that's a big number, right? Wow. And it's only going to rise. Yeah. So I guess. And that's probably only yeah. the recorded ones. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And. It's just, yeah, it's best to just, um, you know, if you don't have anyone in your family, it's still best to just know yeah. Yeah. that it does exist and it could happen to you, I mean, your family member one day. Because mm. we thought, hey, we thought it'll never happen to us, you know. And then when our nana got it, we were just like, you know, pretty sad, yeah. upset. Mm-hmm. But, you know, we have to cherish all these moments we have mm. with her, yeah. While she's still here. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, and we just, you know, we just want, you know, our families to know that, you know, they are not alone. Yeah. 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 We're all in this together. And there's so many of us going mm-hmm. through this. Mm-hmm. And just support, support each other. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Support each yeah. other. Yeah. That's what we need on this journey is like support. Yeah. 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 So if you have, you know, a loved one in your family who have dementia, just be there for them. Show yeah. up and just support them. Yeah. 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 What's something? Sorry, I know we're going past that. <laughs> we're going. <laughs> I, this is me. Just one more question. I'm so sorry. Because um, you, you know, you're the full time. Sorry, you're the full time carer. Is there one thing? And I'm just gonna say this while your family is hopefully watching. So do this plug in well, okay? Is there one? <laughs> of those, is is there one thing that you just ask as a carer that someone does? Just one thing. If there was that one thing. Um, what would it be? Support. Just support. Support. Yeah. We in any all, form. Yeah. Just all support. Forms of support. Yeah. Be there yeah. for um not only for like, you know, our loved one, but for the carers as well. Yeah. yeah. Because there are some families who don't have um, you know, support or yeah. other family members who help, you know. Oh, but yeah. um yeah we need to talk about it more yeah it's a <laughs> yeah, great initiative stigma. that you guys are doing yeah and thank you so well much well done to you guys and you know if we're everyone listening um support your family members support these girls as well and if um yeah. is it all right to say that if they need any more information they can reach out to you guys oh, on yes. facebook yes yeah. they can reach out to us on facebook or instagram mm-hmm. and there are um you know dementia organizations um out there mm-hmm. um to help yeah yeah so there's um dementia Auckland mm-hmm. and Alzheimer's New Zealand. Yeah. But yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. 
Yeah. Thank you. And thank you so much for coming on the show. Oh, thank honestly. you for having us. No, for having us. <laughs> we really appreciate it. No, I know that you guys have been on some big shows. You know, Breakfast was one of them. So massive shout out to you both um, because it's it's a lot of work, we know, and you've got full-time care and, you know, you've got your family supporting you. Um, it's been an absolute honour having you both. Did you want to have your last you know just a message of encouragement to so anyone did you have anything in mind that you wanted to share with everyone before we wrap up <laughs> no <laughs> just um yeah just know that you're not alone yeah i love that yeah. just you're know not, you, you're not alone mm. yeah I love that. Um, look, I know we've just got um, Filippo uh, that's just um, sent a message through. Sorry, I'm going to quickly read this. Um, amazing how dementia mm. patients cannot remember most of the things, but when it comes to music, they remember the music and the lyrics are spot on. They remember music. Oh, sorry, my mother was a dementia patient, so... oh. Look, uh, so much love going out to you. Thank you so much uh, for engaging with our show, um, The Blue Table Talanoa, um, with Ben and Claudia. But that's it from us. Um, check the girls out on Facebook and um, also on Instagram. Mm -hmm. But, um, yeah, thank you Thank you, so you guys thank for you having so us. Much. No worries. Thank you. Just remember, you. you're not alone. God bless everyone and have an amazing evening. Esquad, baby. Rex. Say